Hey there, it's Sean Bailey, the Sales Funnel Nerd, and welcome to your Funnel Recon Kit here. I'm going to show you how to scope out your competition and learn everything about them. So let's jump right into it here. So step one is to go over to some type of affiliate marketer place. For this example, I'm talking about ClickBank. It's a huge one, lots of funnels to check out, lots of places to scope out and do some funnel recon. So step one is that we go over to the funnel marketplace, excuse me, we go over to the affiliate marketplace, at ClickBank, and these are going to be all these. These are all uh, essentially proven niches, right? If you're people are talking about a hot niche, this is an, these are evergreen niches that work over and over. Uh, new products are added into there all the time. Uh, there's thousands of products to choose through in here, so it doesn't matter what kind of interest you have here. Chances are you'll be able to find it inside of ClickBank. So step two is that when you go into one of these categories, it's going to show you all the different products. Now, it's going to be laid out and what we want to sort by, as far as uh, sort, like sorting our results here, is by gravity. And gravity just basically means how well this product is selling. Okay, so essentially, the higher, the better. Okay, the, the more products that are selling, the, the higher that the gravity is going to be here. So we sort it by gravity and then we can start going into each one of these products. All you have to do is just click on it to check it out. Step three is that you're going to go into any one of these products, usually scroll down to the bottom of the page, and you're going to be looking for an item that says affiliates. All right, click on that, and then step four is going to take you inside and kind of give you information, literally, about their sales funnel. It doesn't get any easier to do this type of funnel research. Uh, for this particular funnel, now, uh, I don't have anywhere near as complex a funnel as this. So we can see as far as this funnel, if we were looking at this funnel here, we can see it starts off with a VSL that leads to an upsell, another upsell, and then a third upsell. Now, if we look at that first upsell, now, if they say no to that, there's a downsell, then another downsell, then another downsell. This person has multiple upsells and downsells to get the maximum amount out of this funnel here. Now, the reason that this funnel is so complex is because it works. But here you can see they've literally told us, here's what my funnel looks like. So you can kind of get an idea of, of this person's funnel. And this is just one, like I say, of thousands of products on there. So you go in there and see, and they will tell you all about their funnel, and you can start doing some funnel recon uh, from the inside. Now, this is one method. This is one way to do your funnel recon. Now, when you go into their affiliate information areas, they're going to tell you about all the different demographics, uh, information that they've done, PPC keywords that work. So basically, if you were going to buy some type of Google ad, you would need to know uh, some PPC keywords. They've also got uh, a bunch of different information to um, sample emails. So for the sample emails, you're going to want to do some funnel recon in the sense that you can look them over and see what kind of pain points are they talking about? What kind of emotional buttons are they trying to hit? Uh, what's the style of emails, right? All of this stuff, this is all totally allowed in funnel recon rules. So you can go in there and learn a whole lot about uh, not even, even if it's not your market, uh, you can see lots of different funnel layouts, funnel styles, uh, learn a whole lot about sales funnels just by going through the affiliate links uh, of different various products here. Now you can see now that was just one ClickBank, right? There's lots of different affiliate networks that are out there. If you type in uh, affiliate network into Google, uh, you will be off to the races. There will be tons and tons of different options for you. So now we've got a little bonus here as far as the funnel recon method. I'm going to show you how to make your own kind of swipe file, your own funnel swipe file. Now you're going to do that by using a tool inside Windows. If you're using a Windows computer, you likely have this tool right on your computer, and it's called the Snipping Tool. If you've never used it before, I'm going to show you here. Okay, so here's inside one of the emails that I've received from Russell, and the cool thing is he has lots of different funnel entry points in his emails here. So let's take a look at one. If I was to click on one of these links here, we'll go with 108 proven split test books because I want to uh, do some recon on this uh, free plus shipping funnel that he has. Uh, I'm just going to open up in a new link here. So now I'm going to use my snipping tool because I want to just kind of record and um, just kind of keep track of the layout here. There's two things that I'm going to do. The first one is with the snipping tool. So what I like to do is zoom out as much as possible. You can hit the control key and then minus on your keyboard, or I just hold down the control key and I have a wheel on my mouse. So I just roll the wheel and you can see it starts getting smaller, smaller, and that's all I want. I just kind of want to get an idea uh, so I could print these out and just have kind of like a picture layout. 
And so when we open our snipping tool up, it looks like this. And then what we want to do is just hit new. And what this is going to do is allow us to take kind of screenshots uh, that we decide what we want to screenshot essentially. So we hit new and I want to get this and I've zoomed out. So I'm just going to grab this to this image here. Now this is a fairly long page and I'm going to have to do this in pieces, but that's okay. That's fine. So I'll just save this one. I'm just going to go file, save as, and then I'm going to save this as uh, Russell free plus shipping. And then I just give it a name. And if I, like I say, if I have to do in pieces, which I've already done here, um, then I'm just going to just number them and just keep slicing and taking pieces here. So the way I would do that is now that I've got that part. So I'd scroll down to about here, go back to my snipping tool, take a new one, start in here. Boom. Let's go down to this red arrow. And then I know where I cut it off. And there we go. I got another piece. Now, once I've got these, I can zoom into these pieces and uh, print them out. Like I say, I actually have the these pages laid out. So that's how I'm going to start uh, and do part one of creating my swipe file. Uh, part two of my swipe file. So now this page here, uh, there's a lot on this page as far as the actual layout. And I don't want to uh, save this file. This page is like a web page or anything like that. What I want to do is I want to right click on this page. I want to go to print. And then I want to make sure that this is set as save as PDF, right? This will give me a guide as to how this page was uh, set up that I can uh, print out and refer to. And like I say, when, um, when there's great pages like that, um, this is what I like to do for the other method of funnel recon is printing these things out um, or at the very least just saving them as a PDF. So that's it. I just have to hit save and then it'll ask me where I want to save it. And then I'm good to go as far as um, doing my funnel recon on this page. So that's just one, one page, one of many pages that I could check out, uh, check out the style. And I'm not looking to make exact duplicates of people's pages. I'm just kind of looking to get kind of inspired, um, come up with my own style in regards to certain pages. Um, Cause I might take a piece from one page, you know, like, Oh, okay. I like the way that the style of that button or that headline. And then and I might see on another page, oh, okay, you know what? I like the way that that order form was set up. So you know, it's about, um, like I say, getting inspired uh, versus sitting and starting with a blank slate, uh, taking a look at something that's kind of working and getting inspired from there. And it just gives you a shortcut method as well. So do your funnel recon, check out funnels. Like I say, take pictures, uh, record things, and create your own funnel recon file. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.